Joey Lawrence is too old for drama with roommates. Unfortunately, when he joined on for Celebrity Big Brother, the 42-year-old actor and producer was signing up for exactly that as this season has seen ample meltdowns, catfights and altercations between the competitive stars. After losing his only two allies in the house just days into the game, Joey attempted to stay out of the action to eliminate the target from his back. But it was difficult for the remaining house guests to overlook Joey's physical edge and he eventually followed both Jonathan Bennett and Ryan Lodged out of the door to become the third house guest. Evicted from the game on day 18. Tamar Braxton I was confused by myself for ranking Tamar this high, but when you compare her to those who are ranked after, it makes sense. And Tamar won the secret power and spoiler alert. Won the most recent Ho competition that we'll see on the episode tonight. I actually considered even ranking Tamar second. But then I realized that she didn't really have to win this week's Ho since she still had the power of the publicist. She could have thrown the comp and been able to win the next hoe when she's vulnerable again. But it all worked out for her this week, so she earned this spot. And since she's calmed down a little bit and has stopped popping off left and right, Lolo cannot say the same, she's less of a target now. Tom Green Tom was once on top of this game. He and Kata ruled, and he was poised to never slip out of the top three spots in our rankings. But then he won Ho and the power of the publicist made him crazy. He went from top to bottom in one day. And now it is pretty much impossible for him to rebound. Even if he made it to the end, he wouldn't get the votes to win the game. Lolo Jones Lolo comes in dead last because she has been a complete mess of a player. She has screamed at every single person in the house caused hours of feeds outages people are speculating her team won't let us see her in too bad a light and she hasn't won anything. In fact, every time she loses something. She likes to say she almost won or let the other person win. To me, she's the worst kind of player because she doesn't even realize she's a villain. Don't get me wrong. She's made for some great TV and has kept tensions high in the house but that doesn't make for a good player. Everyone in the house, other than Natalie, has talked about how hard she is to be around. Let it go.